So what could Apple necessarily do with the Apple Watch Series 5? What's the future of the wearable market going to be? We already got an ECG sensor built into the digital crown, saving lives. We got full detection, saving lives. We've got curved corners, thinner bezels than last year. They're beating out the competition. No one can compete with the Apple Watch Series 4. It's a hot ticket item. It is quite a bit expensive, but other than just updating the specs and making things a little bit faster and making the battery a little bit longer, what exactly could Apple do with the Apple Watch Series 5? Well, I have an idea and I think it should be possible. So as I mentioned before, we should probably just throw out all of the given upgrades, okay? We know they can make it cheaper, hopefully, that would be a good thing. The Series 4 is kind of pricey. For an aluminum Apple Watch, it is a very decent watch, but granted, it could be a lot cheaper. They could find ways of making the material more affordable, maybe taking out some features people don't care about, make an Apple Watch Series R of some type. It uses an LCD display. No, I don't know. I'm sure there are methods of making it cheaper, and next year there will probably be cheaper ways of getting the same tech. Okay, we got more color options. We always have that. We can get faster CPUs. We can get better wireless technology. But other than that, what type of drastic changes could Apple do to the Apple Watch Series 5 other than simple internal upgrades and make the whole thing a little bit thinner? Well, my idea is adopting a technology that Apple is somewhat familiar with, but we've seen more applied in other smartphones like the Galaxy S8 and the S9 and some of the more recent Note series, curved displays. What, Drew? You want to bring a curved display to the Apple Watch? Well, I'm talking an omnidirectional curve display. I don't know if you guys remember, but Roking did some concepts for everything Apple Pro a while back that showcased what he thought micro LED technology would allow for on the Apple Watch. And looking at that concept, I saw this idea of pushing the display on the Apple Watch even further than it is right now, all the way to the aluminum or stainless steel cases, depending on which version you buy. And while a lot of people may think that looks crazy, I think it would actually be entirely functional. And the reason they should do this on the Apple Watch is it really wouldn't make sense to do on any other of their products. See, we kind of ran into a wall with the iPad Pro. We got the bezels on the edges as thin as we could, but we all kind of admit that you can't really get them much thinner on the iPad because then it starts to become impractical. Your fingers, when you're holding the iPad, start touching the display. We fit a wall in that sense. You know, we can't really make those bezels thinner without making the device a little bit more impractical. You would start setting off the display on accident and until they get really, really good at palm rejection and being able to tell the difference between a pointer and someone holding the device, the bezels on the iPad Pro are likely going to stay as thin as they are for now and likely for the next couple of years. With the Apple Watch, there's a couple of things I realized that separates it from a typical iPad or even a smartphone. One reason I think Apple was against doing the curved corner design that we saw in the Galaxy S8 and the S9 on their own iPhones is that a lot of people don't actually like the curved displays because oftentimes they'll be reaching for something on the display and will accidentally hit something else because of that curved edge. It does distort video and pictures a little bit so instead of getting a flat image that you're used to things kind of roll off the side of the display it does force the device to be a bit more sharp in the hand it's not as rounded off like an iPhone is so again the infinity display on galaxy products does look cool but I've met lots of people who don't like those curved edges because they either set them off all the time or they look a little bit distorted while it is a good way of shrinking side bezels and it's an easy way of saying look I'm futuristic look I'm a newer type of phone it's not not entirely that practical. But you know what the difference is with the Apple Watch? You don't hold it, you wear it. That means you don't have to worry about where your fingers rest while using the Apple Watch because that watch band is tying it to your arm. You're not worried about setting off the display because it's tethered here. You don't hold the device. You're not reaching across the Apple Watch to tap something in the top corner because it's tethered to your arm, which means that in my opinion, the curved display technique that we've seen brought to the Galaxy S8, S9, some Huawei phones have started doing it now. I think that would make the most amount of sense on a smartwatch because you want to get as much content and as much display onto this wearable as you possibly can because it's already so limited for space. You have to be very minimal with the amount of data you present the user at once, but providing a larger canvas to work with, as we know, upgrading from an Apple Watch Series 3 to a Series 4 is very substantial because you have a much larger display. You have a much more intuitive design. You don't feel as boxed in as you do on a regular Series 3. And I think upping the display 
display and keeping the form factor the same is typically the best way to make a noticeable improvement on a product, particularly Apple products. As in the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10s Max, they have the same form factor, but the display is so much more massive on the 10s Max that it feels like a very drastic improvement. You're going from five and a half inches of display to six and a half inches of display, so this is a vastly large improvement. Similar to the Series 4, a lot of the buttons, a lot of the menus, a lot of the text becomes much, much easier to read. In fact, if you get used to a Series 4 and then go back to a Series 3, you'll start to realize, how did I read all this stuff on the screen? It's so tiny, particularly if anyone out there is using an iPhone 10 or a 10R. Try to go back to like an iPhone SE or try to go back to an iPhone 5. Once you start typing on that keyboard, you're like, dang, everything's so tiny. How did I get used to this? I think we'll look back at the Apple Watch Series 4 very similarly if we do upgrade to the curved corner technique where we decide, you know what? Anything that's glass on the Apple Watch on the front side, that's going to be display. Now, again, I understand that this technology might not be possible right now, but as I've said earlier this year, we know that Apple is investigating micro LED technology, which should make these types of designs possible. And I also thought of a really functional idea that could be added with the Series 5 that a lot of people might appreciate. So a lot of users out there want always on displays. They want a low power mode version for the Apple Watch so that even if they're not lifting their wrist to check the time, they can still see what time it is. Now, this sounds a little bit weird, so try to use your imagination a tad here. But if you had a curved corner display that went all the way to the aluminum or all the way to the stainless steel on an Apple Watch, this would mean that you could know what time it is without even tilting your wrist. How is that possible? Well, let me explain. Typically, when you're wearing an Apple Watch, or particularly when you're driving or you're sitting, whether you've got something in your hand, you're working on something, what I notice is that when I turn and look at my watch, I'm seeing the bottom half of it. The side that's facing me is a bottom piece of glass. And of course, if I want to know what time it is, I have to turn the watch like this and then the screen turns on. If instead we got so lazy that we didn't even want to tilt our wrist anymore, if the display was curved on the bottom, and of course with the rest of the watch so that you could wear it in any particular way, if you wanted the digital crown facing towards you, away from you, upside down, right side up, all those different reasons, if you could put the time on that bottom corner of the display so that that would always be on whenever the watch face wasn't on, you could see what time it is without having to turn your wrist because your arms, whether you're driving like this and just look down, there would be a little bit of curved display there to showcase just a regular analog time. I'm not great at Photoshop, so I can't exactly show you how this would work, but all I'm trying to say is it could be very, very easy for people who just want to know what time it is and get annoyed that either the race to wake isn't working or the tap the display isn't working. Who knows? Maybe the battery will just get so good that they can leave the watch face on for the majority of the time and it won't hurt anything, but that was the main addition I think they could add with the Apple Watch into 2019 and 2020 is pushing those bezels even further back because you don't have that wall to worry about with the iPads, about having space so that you can hold the device because you're not holding this, you're wearing it. And then of course with those curved corners, if you could paste the time on that bottom curve of the Apple Watch, then you could see the time even without turning your wrist because simply looking at the Apple Watch from any angle would tell you what time it is. It's a little thing. I know it would not be the most exciting upgrade for everyone, but I think it would be a very aesthetically noticeable upgrade that a lot of people could appreciate the fact that they don't have to turn the wrist or tap the display every time they check what time it is. Maybe even at the bottom of that curved display, they can have a little red dot down there so that the rest of the display, when that's off, you can see if you have a notification rather than always checking this way. To me, this would just make the experience of the Apple Watch even more efficient and probably incredibly overkill compared to what you get with the competition, given the wearable tech is not really catching up to the Apple Watch. So those are my ideas for the Apple Watch Series 5. It's not a completely dead end when it comes to design upgrades. Will this happen? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know how ready the technology is, but I definitely think the curved display technique would be useful on a wearable more than it would be a phone. I prefer my phones to have the flat edges when it comes to displays. You can get as close as you can to the edge of the phone, but if you have to start distorting it and then I can't turn it off and then I start accidentally triggering it all the time, then it becomes a little bit impractical. As cool as it may look, I'd prefer the flat ends. Let me know what you guys would prefer, what you would like to see added to the Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully things that I haven't already brought up in today's video. So all that good stuff, let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.